Can we start by talking about you know, what, what happened in Timwald last week and, and what you said and, and the repercussions from it? Yes, well, of course, this is the Gender Recognition Bill, which really legitim- makes legitimate uh, um, by, by law uh, people able to have sex changes. And, of course, it, was, uh, it, it came out much later during the House of Keys debate that this could also be had on the NHS. Now, there are two issues here. One is the principle, of course, which I'm fully against. I'm wholly against that principle. I feel it defies common decency, and, uh, and it's something I will always uh, oppose. Now, I don't represent my own views here. I represent the views of the, uh, of the people, or most of the people, in the constituency in which I represent, which is North Douglas. Um, but also, as an MHK, you also represent the views of the island. And since the debate in the House of Keys last Tuesday, there's been enormous support for me. Um, I've had numerous telephone calls, cards, letters and, uh, and, and, and messages by email. And of course, that gives me, the, uh, that, that gives me good reason to, uh, to, to, to show that I'm doing my job. Now, you were the only one that spoke out against this. Yes, I was the only one, um, and of course, uh, I was one of the first up in the debate. So basically, I set the, to- the tone of the debate. And after that, of course, there were numerous uh, speakers after me who were vehemently against me. One of those was the Minister for Education, Mrs Crane, who represents uh, uh, her constituents in Ramsey. And I've had a number of, of her constituents in Ramsey who themselves have given me massive support, of course, uh, uh, by, uh, by telephoning me, pe- telephone me and, uh, and corresponding with me. Now also, uh, Mr Bell, the Treasury Minister, um, he was very vehement in his, marks, uh, his remarks against me there, but he should be looking at, on balance is the way I see this, on balance in the fact that when you're representing people in the House of Keys, you have to represent decent people. And I strongly believe these are the views of decent people. I mean, that's quite a, that's quite a statement to say there, because I mean, obviously there are people who are trapped in the wrong bodies, whatever you want to say. And, and, and what do you say to them, those, those, those people that, that feel that they, they do need this um, recognition that, that they need to be reassigned to sex uh, from, on their birth certificate and their passports and so yeah. on? If those, those people need help, they're getting help now. I have done quite a lot of research already uh, from the United Kingdom's uh, point of view. And there the, the are such that are people in the Isle of Man who have gone away and had sex changes. Now, that's quite in order for them to do that, but not on our NHS and not legalising it so that it can be done. I feel that if people wish to go and have operations and, and, uh, and, and, and change their sex, change their gender for good and all, that's a matter for them. But it's not really a matter for legitimising that in the House of Keys. Am I not right in thinking, though, that it's a human rights part of the thing? This is why it's been brought in in, in the first place. You, you, it's just coming into line with the rest of Europe, and it's something that the Ottoman has to do, really. And that's ac- absolutely so. The situation, of course, when you look at uh, that, that, that the Isle of Man just seems to blindly follow the, uh, the requirements of the United Kingdom's Human Rights Act that, that now laws and, and laws are brought in that are human rights compliant, which we all support on that, but I think this particular issue is one step too far. Now, you were by yourself, as I said, now, I mean, you've, you've, you've brought this now in, outside the Isle of Man, it, it's, it's gone global to some degree. Mm. Uh, do you not regret that this is now possibly dragging the Isle of Man down in, in, the, in the eyes of the, the rest of, of the modern world? I very much regret that, uh, and, and that is not my fault, of course. I am not the mover of this bill. This bill is a government bill brought forward by the Isle of Man government, of course, and of course, uh, as it is, it has to have Treasury concurrence as to its costs, its likely costs on this. And this is another issue that I will need to uh, pursue further, because every uh, bill that goes before the House of Keys, this one included, has to, uh, to, to, to be costed. And in that costing, they must have uh, an idea of how many operations are likely to, to take place on the NHS and whether indeed there is additional funding made for the Department of Health and uh, Social Security in order for these operations to be carried out. Now what I'm concerned about is if the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the DHSS 
have a neutral budget on this, it's going to cost. Uh, uh, it's going to cost, and if you like, cause delays in other people requiring operations on hips operations, knee operations, ophthalmic operations, and many others. And that is something that I'm most concerned about also. So you're not prepared to treat transsexuals then as people who, who have their own rights then? I mean, you, you think they should not be dealt with at all on the, on the Isle of Man? I think that those people who have their own rights and who, who I know, uh, I know there are certain uh, uh, of those people who are on the Isle of Man, have found a way of having their operations um, in the United Kingdom and at no cost to the Isle of Man and no need for an Isle of Man law. I'm not against those people. I'm against laws legitimising this particular issue of gender recognition. That's what I'm against. I'm not against, as I say, as I say those individuals. And I do know that a number of those individuals uh, uh, that, that, that wish to do this, and so again from research that I've done beyond the Isle of Man, is that, uh, is that, that there's an awful lot of them who are on antidepressants before they have the operation. And research uh, tells me that, the, uh, that, that a number of people remain on antidepressants after they've had the operation. And I would ask them to look very carefully before they move forward with such a, 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 with such a major change to themselves, which of course is a matter for them to consider. I think the government was saying surely that, that this was nothing to do with the hospital side, nothing at all to do with the NHS. This was just purely to give them recognition so they, they can reassign themselves on their birth certificate. That's what they were, were saying, were they not? I think that was a way, uh, I think there was a lot of spin that went in that. I don't think really that was completely right. What this does is this makes lawful, this makes legal in the Gender Recognition Bill for people to have legitimate and legal sex changes on the Isle of Man and secondary to that on the Isle of Man National Health Service. Now you said you believe your constituents are behind you. I mean, have have you not heard from the other side of the camp at all? Oh, oh yes. Uh, there's, I mean, there's no one in politics can speak for everyone. Only a fool would say that. But as long as you're representing the majority of your constituents and far wide throughout the island, which I know I am, through the flood of uh, uh, of correspondence and calls that I've had, um, I know that I'm being I'm doing the right thing. I'm just sorry that there weren't a few other members of the House of Keys who were brave enough to support me because I'm pretty sure that some of them uh, uh, were going to support me until I got this, uh, the, this, this, this vehement response uh, by members who were queuing up to, uh, to, 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 to criticise what I'd said. I'm sure there would have been some more support in the direction that I was moving. This law has to be passed, does it not? I mean, this is a trouble. I mean, in the end of the day, to, to, to qualify for all the, all the, the, the things to do with the human rights, mm. this bill has to pass. So really, are you not now just making a mountain out of mogul in the sense of, you know you're the only one that voted against it anyway, so it's going to go through. Would it be best not now to shut up and just let this thing go through? Well, can I perhaps uh, ask you, Paul, to, 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 uh, to, to look at yourself on this? You feel it's worthwhile, uh, it's worthy of interviewing me on this. There is obvious concern. No doubt you've had a, a concern that's, that's come through to you, probably on one side and on the other side, and no doubt you'll in, you'll, you will, doing your, your duty, interview those who wish to speak in the, uh, you know what I mean, in the, in the opposite uh, sense, as it were. Uh, that's only right and proper. But in politics, it's only right and proper for there to be two sides, two opinions, from one side and from the other. And that's the purpose of, uh, of me, uh, of my input and, and my contribution to this debate. What about the damage? Do you think you are doing damage to the reputation of the Isle of Man? Is? No, I think the, the damage that's been done to the Isle of Man is not by me. I'm not bringing the bill forward. The bill has been brought in by the government. And one of those people vehemently speaking uh, against my uh, opinions was the Treasury Minister, Mr Bell. The Treasury Minister is, is a person to whom the whole of the Isle of Man are looking to to save us from the financial crisis that we are facing. I can't for the life of me understand why the Treasury Minister is so interested in this particular bill here and speaking so vehemently against it uh, in, 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 such, in, in some cases in such an abusive way towards me, to which I would not uh, uh, repay back to him that I feel that, uh, that, that it's 
the, the damage has been caused by the government bringing this bill forward themselves. I'm not the mover of this bill, so therefore I'm not the person that's causing this, this, uh, this damage and this controversy. Where do you go from here? Well, all I can do is continue to uh, is, is, is continue to uh, to vote the bill down, and uh, and we'll see whether or not there are any other further supporters in the House of Keys as we go through the further stages as the bill progresses. But I have no doubt um, because it, uh, it it passed with such a, a great majority at second reading that the bill is likely to become law in the future. And that surprised you? It's not surprised me at all. Nothing surprises me anymore. And uh, have you had anyone from your constituency who is a, a transsexual come forward to talk to you? I've got, uh, I've got somebody by email who's claiming to be that, and, and I will be contacting uh, him to speak to him uh, further and, uh, and see whether or not uh, there are any parallels in his views um, uh, as against the views that I've, uh, I've received from my research outside the Isle of Man. Finally, do you think this has been probably, possibly very distressing for anyone in that situation now who, who, who just wants to live their life and, and now suddenly this has all come up and probably made them feel a, a bit second class to some degree? No, I feel that, uh, that, that there are debates. Uh, uh, I mean, there's freedom of speech everywhere, there's debates. These debates aren't being pointed at anyone. If those debates were actually being pointed at a particular individual, I would say, yes, that's quite unfair that that happens. But if they, they wish to then come forward and identify themselves and give their point of view, more's the better. This is a, this, this, this is a place uh, and, and, and a scenario that needs to be examined and people need to understand it and, uh, and then make their views or, or, uh, or, or amend their views accordingly. I mean, this is, uh, this is the freedom of the, uh, of the country in order to do that, as, and it's something which I fully support. And, and uh, just to clarify, you, you were surprised that you didn't get any more backing uh, in, on, on, from your side of it uh, to, to, to vote the bill down? No, well, I'm, I'm not surprised about anything these days. There's an awful lot of members in the House of Keys, I feel, that couldn't really stand personal attacks. It's an everyday occurrence with, uh, with me, simply because I, I make the, the, the views and the feelings known of, of uh, a, a great number of my constituents, and therefore I'm looked at as being outspoken, and I can take, I can take the, uh, the, the, the criticism back. I do know that there are an awful lot of members there who really couldn't do that, and I, and I think, had there been more balance in that debate, there may have been other members who would have been likely to have supported my side of things. But those are ifs and buts and mays. They voted as they voted. I was the only vote person who voted against, and that's politics. And no regrets. And no regrets.